Hi everyone, Scott here with another Aperture experience for you. So this is a sharing from Aperture to Google+, um, or Picasa for that matter. Something I've touched on before, uh, but the last time I did it, it was only working with Firefox, and um, I was still having previews generated all the time. Uh, now that uh, Safari is uh, magically working, I thought I would quickly show how to do a share and uh, talk a little bit about you know what to deal with uh, with the previews for that. So uh, I'm going to share this simple image of the moon, um, very basic, but uh, will serve our purposes just fine. And as I mentioned, I don't have previews. Now my, the way I've been sharing with Google Plus is drag and drop. Um, but now if I try and take this image, you'll see if I try and drop it onto my desktop, I don't have the little green plus. It's because I do not have a preview generated for this. Um, it's very easy to generate the previews. You know, photo, update the preview, or delete the preview. You can see I've got these keyboard shortcuts assigned for them. Let me quickly pop in there and show you what that looks like, because if you're going to be doing this, you'll want to do it uh, with some keyboard quickness. So from Aperture, Commands, Customize, you'll see the keyboard layout. I'll search for preview, and you can see, you know, here's generate previews, remove previews. And if you want to redefine the command, if it's uh, you know been uh, it's empty before, there's nothing there, I'll just hit you know shift enter, it'll assign it. Um, let's see if I try to do shift enter here, it'll complain about it. Do I want to reassign it? You'll see it disappears. I have, I have two keyboard shortcuts. Let's pop that back over so that I only have one of each. So I generate with shift enter, I remove them with control enter. That's that's saved. And let's actually get to the uh, sharing. The uh, first thing to do is generate the preview. Simply done, shift return from my keyboard shortcut and processing like, bounced up and disappeared there really quickly uh, as it generated the preview. Uh, one other thing I'll point out is if you set a caption, in this case I have backyard moon, for the image that will be picked up by the uh, the drag in to Google Plus. So now um, I have my preview. I can click and drag this out to my desktop. You'll notice I have the green plus there. It's showing me the JPEG. And I'll drop it right there. And I'll toggle over to Safari. Now normally, um, let's see, photos. And I always click add photos straight away. So I come to a different screen in Google Plus. If I don't do that, um, I'll see a lot of scrolling happening since Google Plus will be updating automatically and that gets annoying very fast. I happen to add things to a specific album, my photo stream, and I'll drag them in. Now this will take a little bit to upload. I'm not on a super fast connection here. We'll wait that for that. And you can see there's that Backyard Moon title automatically picked up from the caption. I'll say done. That's great. And you know, lastly, I'll just add a comment, you know, share this little thing here. That looks good. Add in the circles that I want to add it to. That'll be great. And share. And, you know, I'm done. Let that upload. And the last thing I'll do is back over in Aperture. I will now delete my preview. So for me, com or sorry, control return deletes the preview. And just to test, make sure that worked. Sure enough, I don't have a preview anymore. I can't drop it anywhere. Um, so it's real quick, real simple. Fling up my desktop. I don't need that anymore. And actually, on my main system, I have two monitors. So normally, you know, I've got you know, Aperture and Safari on two different screens. So I don't have to do this. Drag it to the desktop. Drag it over into Google Plus. Uh, just you know, I don't have enough screen real estate here on the MacBook to do that. Uh, and this works with Picasa as well. So um, I know I've blogged about the free plugin for Picasa, um, for Aperture, I, I essentially don't use it anymore. I do my, my shares this way, just drag and drop. So um, there we go, that's it, the, uh, the quick and dirty nickel tour. Now that Safari's got the support for drag and drop within Google, um, I am I'm loving this and it's you know sharing at its easiest. That's all for this time, see you again soon.